Welcome. This is Randall Beach here, creator of DrummingExpert.com, author of Hold On To Your Sticks, Mastering the Secrets of World Class Drumming, and creator of this exciting new online video instruction course, Hold On To Your Sticks. I'm very excited for you to be here to go on this journey with me as we explore the world of drumming. And we're going to go from the very beginning all the way through the most advanced levels of drumming. Whatever your current situation is, whether you're a beginner or whether you consider yourself very advanced, you have come to the right place because I really believe that the secret to success in anything, but especially developing skills and technique in the craft of drumming, the secret is to look at the foundational skills, the basic fundamental skills required to master different areas of drumming. And I'm going to go through those in a very systematic way. So regardless of how long you've been playing or what your level of experience is, I would encourage you to go through it all, watch every lesson, and take everything you can from it, and you'll be able to learn things and look at things from a new perspective, and together we can take your drumming to a new level. So go through it all. As I considered what to include in this course, I thought back on my own journey and the process I went through to learn how to play drums. I started at a very young age, got, a help, got some help from a friend, got my own drum set. I started trying to figure out how to play and was doing okay, kind of, but I really knew that I was faking it. I really didn't know what I was doing and I didn't know what to do to get to the next level. I was very fortunate when I found my first teacher a master teacher, an incredible drummer, and he took me back to the very beginning, took me step by step through the process of learning how to play, and put me on a path that allowed me to progress to higher and higher, level, higher, and higher levels of drumming. For over 30 years now, I've been playing and teaching and learning and studying. I've dedicated my professional career to learning about drumming and how to teach drumming. And so everything that I've included in this course and in my book is a compilation of all the techniques and skills that I've spent most of my life studying and learning. I'm very excited to share those with you. It's important, I believe, to have kind of a picture in your mind of where you're going. I like to think of this as a framework. And my book and this course are, or, are organized on this framework that I want to talk you through. If you look in the introductory section of the book, you'll find this framework. I titled it, The Framework for Mastering the Vocabulary and Language of World-Class Drumming. So check that out. I'm going to put a picture, up, picture of it up here on the screen as we talk through it. And I just want you to consider each of these sections and be able to begin with the end in mind. I like that concept, that you have a big picture idea of what you're, what you're doing and where you're going. So the beginning of this framework starts with the foundation. We need the right tools. We need to learn how to hold the sticks, good hand position. We need to go through a process of teaching our hands how to move properly. And I'm going to teach you and show you my stroke development system that I've developed for the last 30 years. A lot of this I learned from my very first teacher, and I'm so grateful that he taught me this approach for teaching your hands how to drum properly. So I'm excited for you to go through that. The next section begins looking at three key areas of drumming. And years ago, when I was in college, and as a matter of fact, I was reading this article by famous legendary jazz drummer, Philly Joe Jones. It was an article in Modern Drummer, if you know that magazine. And he said something very interesting in there. He said, you know, there's really only three rudiments. Single stroke roll, double stroke roll, and flam. And I just stopped and thought about that. I thought, wow, he's right. I'd been drumming for quite a while and thought I was doing pretty well and I was a pretty good player. But that just made me stop and think. It simplified things for me in my mind. And from that moment, I started looking at how he was right and how the different skills of drumming, the motions required to play all these different figures, were easily encapsulated in these three different areas. So that is the framework that we're going to go through. 
So if you look at this diagram here, the first category or rudiment, single strokes, I've broken into two different categories. The first is single strokes, one height. Now I want to demonstrate just a little bit so you'll know what I'm talking about. If I just play alternating single strokes, right, left, right, left, right, left, you can see that those are all one height. That's the first landmark skill of drumming. If you can't do that, you can't really do anything. And the whole first category of exercises is built around all kinds of rhythm variations and single stroke exercises that are all one height. Single strokes, one height. The next category in that first layer of single stroke roll is single strokes, two heights. And we introduce a low tap stroke together with the high accent stroke that we've been doing previously so that we can play single strokes, two heights. Taps and accents, that's an amazing skill. I call it the golden key that unlocks the door to the real world of drumming. And so many people never learn how to do that and never join the real world of drumming. Okay, so that's the first layer. The second layer is the double stroke roll. So now we're dealing with double strokes, two strokes on each hand, and we have the same basic subcategories. First is double strokes, one height. So our goal is to learn how to play a double stroke roll. We gotta learn how to do two strokes on each hand. The double stroke. And we do it within the context of everything one height and learn how to play a roll. Then the second subcategory of that is we use double strokes, but now we combine two heights. So you can see the kind of the similarities between the first two categories of main categories of drumming. So we take taps and accents, two different heights, but now we add double strokes so we can play rudiments like the paradiddle or drag rudiments. So you see that two height framework that we also play double strokes in. That's the second layer. The third and final layer is the flam. And within the flam, there are a couple of different style of flam rudiments. There's flam rudiments that are very much tap and accent oriented, like flam accent. You can see those two strict heights. And then the other subcategory of flams is more legato bounced style motions like flam taps or Swiss triplets. So it's not as strict with uh, taps and accents. So there's a couple of different style of flam rudiments. And then there are more advanced flam rudiments beyond that kind of combine those two together and, and move to a new level of flams, if you will. But those three main areas are really the nuts and bolts of drumming. And in each of those areas, there's very simple beginning material and techniques and motions to practice. And then you progress to very, very advanced material within each of those three layers. Now, you'll notice in the diagram that we want to look at improvisation and we want to look at more advanced hybrid rudiments. And we'll do that at another time in another course. The point of this course is to take you from the beginning levels of drumming through this framework and cover those three main areas. And if you can cover and play, if you can, if we cover well and you can play all the standard rudiments and figures and master the hand motions and strokes required to play in those three areas, you are for real and you've got some serious, serious chops. I like to think of drumming today as well, let me say it this way. We're in need of a new generation of drummers who really develop true chops. They don't just sit down to a kit and play single strokes all day long, which many drummers do. They understand the complexity of the rudiments and how to apply that to many different drumming situations. And I want you to be able to do that as well. I know you can do this wherever you're at. Just start where you are. Dig into the lessons, practice, master the techniques. I'm very excited to go through all of this with you, and I'm very excited to hear your comments and your feedback as we go along. So, good luck, and let's get started.